All right, what's up, guys? It's Jesse, and uh, per the request of a subscriber whose name I can never quite figure out how to pronounce, uh, today's yo-yo review, because, you know, first video of the week is always going to be a yo-yo review, but this time, uh, I'm actually going to be starting, uh, this is the first of the videos that will be published on Tuesdays and Thursdays rather than Wednesdays and Saturdays, and believe me, it was much harder to find time, it was much easier to find time to film this video than it was the ones last week. So with that in mind, we're going to go ahead and start our review of the Yo-Yo Factory Shutter per the request of a loyal subscriber. Um, okay, so for those of you who don't know, um, those of you who live on a rock, under a rock, I should say, the Shutter is the signature yo-yo of World Yo-Yo Champion, or 2014 World Yo-Yo Champion Gentry Stein, who was also the 2013, and I don't think 2016 National Champion, and, uh, like, he's pretty good. Uh, he's probably one of the most decorated yo-yo champions out there right now. Um, but, uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and we're going to talk about the Yo-Yo Factory Shutter. Um, it's good. It, you know, if you've, if you've, um, watched my videos regularly, you know that prior to using the, CL, the, the CLYW Bonfire, the Yo-Yo Factory Shutter was my favorite yo-yo. Uh, and it's still pretty high up there. It's probably second, I'd have to say. Um, and this shutter, uh, this yo-yo just has a lot of the things I look for in a yo-yo. It's, it's pretty good at everything. It's not great at everything, but it's pretty damn good. Uh, sorry, excuse the language, pretty darn good. Um, it's a pretty darn good yo-yo, and it's, uh, it just, it's kind of good at everything. It's got a really, it's got a good shape, I think, this nice H shape, I think that's what you'd call that, uh, which a lot of Gentry's yo-yo have, for instance, the Regen, the Re, no, sorry, the Superstar, no, that's Superstar, Super, uh, Super G, both of those have the H shape. This one's a less, a lot less, uh, stepped H shape than on the Super G, uh, which I don't have uh, either a Super G or a Regen with me, but they both use that uh, that H shape. But this one's a lot less um, severe, and it's in how it um, it's a lot less steep. Um, and this shape is actually pretty interesting because it performs a special function for the yo-yo that I hadn't really thought about too much until recently. Um, for when you're playing on horizontal, you'll notice if I pull the string up like this, there is a gap where the yo-yo doesn't touch where the string doesn't touch the yo-yo, and that actually helps um, increase the spin time when doing horizontal play, uh, which I didn't actually know until recently, but that's a pretty cool feature. Uh, it's got this, it's got a really nice weight distribution with um, with the way these uh, these ring systems are set up, so you've got the inner cup, which is kind of for finger spins, but not really. It's where the uh, Gentry signature is, um, but this is two halves of separate shutters they just put together. Still plays dead smooth. Um, so, uh, like I said, you got really nice thick rims here. It's a pretty decent weight distribution. Uh, the finish on most newer shutters is pretty good. On the original shutter, however, it had, um, less of a, more of a, it had less of a bleed, bead blasted finish. It wasn't quite as, quite as smooth, um, for things like finger grinds. Uh, but that's all right. It still played phenomenally. Um, the first time I picked up a shutter was, I think, uh, two and a half years ago my friend Richard Murphy has one and I was playing around with it and when I was playing with it I kind of decided I had to have one and I actually have had three shutters um one of them I got for free because my original shutter which is right here um the axle housing stripped on the other half and so yo-yo factory was kind enough to replace those two halves because I hadn't had the yo-yo for very long and then uh I made the mistake when I was trying to put together this half of the shutter um when I was trying to put together the whole half using the bearing that came in my original shutter. Um, uh, the axle, I put it in wrong, and I just I couldn't get back out. However, I got these two halves to go together perfectly, and it's still pretty smooth. Uh, I gotta say, I'm a, th the shutter is pretty great in my opinion. It's not a super big yo-yo, like if I compare it to... Uh, it's probably one of the most average-sized yo-yos I've ever seen. Uh, it looks like it has a little bit more than the diameter of the uh, Cypher. Not much. Not much at all, but very little more. And the diameter of the cipher is actually, um, or the width of the cipher is a little less, it looks like. I don't know how well you can see that. Yeah, it just, it comes over just a hair. But it's, it's a, it's a pretty, um, mid-sized yo-yo. Uh, pretty decent spin time. You know, it's not, like, the longest spinning in the world, but it'll go through all your combos. It's got a really nice finish. It's good at just about everything. Uh, whether you're going from horizontal to the slow techie tricks to fast sort of 
flashy tricks or even fast techie tricks uh, akin to the style of like uh, Tessa Pachillo. And so it's a really decent yo-yo for the price it is. It's $45, but if you get one of the more expensive flashes, for instance, um, when I got this shutter, uh, who was actually bought for me about, for my uh, girlfriend at the time, uh, it was $52. And uh, a lot of the other colorways are get a little more expensive. Like I think the, uh, the Golden Galaxy Edition was a uh, $67 or something like that. But um it comes in all sorts of colors so you can, you know, you can get whatever suits your fancy. Uh and it's just it's a, it's a good yo-yo. I really love the shape. It fits very comfortably in my hand and it 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 moves very versatilely. It's pretty stable. Uh it doesn't really have any sort of trouble moving through combos and stuff and it's just it's it'll handle just about anything you can throw at it, which really reflects Gentry's playstyle cuz it's it's very eclectic. And so uh I, the, the, the list of yo-yos that I absolutely will recommend to someone is very short, but the, the shutter is definitely on it. Uh, I just think it, it, it sort of hits all the high points for me, you know, it's versatile, uh, it's got a nice finish, good spin time, stable, and, and it's just, it's, it's one of my all-time favorite yo-yos. Um, so, uh, as you know, I wait yo-yos on a buy, wait for sale, wait for deep sale, and never touch rating. This is a buy any day of the week. If you've got 45 bucks to drop and you're looking for a pretty good yo-yo, I would definitely recommend the Shudder. Uh, you can get other yo-yos that play similarly to the Shudder at the same price, but I just kind of feel like the Shudder um, sort of doesn't outperform any of them necessarily, but what it does is it takes the best qualities of all the different yo-yos of that price range and sort of brings them together into a cohesive whole, and you don't really find a whole lot of yo-yos that do that at this price. So that'll be it for me, guys. Um, until Thursday, that is, when I will actually post a video, unlike I have for the past couple weeks, and I said I would post them on Saturday. Anyway, uh, that's it for me. Uh, this is Jesse signing out.